Jim McCrane, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Gracious one, we are grateful that you will never leave us or forsake us, and for the strength your presence provides to us. For it was you who told us, when you go out against your enemies, do not be afraid, for I am with you. We are thankful today for these new Marines, for their perseverance. Fear not, new Marines, for you are part of the finest fighting force on earth, forged in fire, surrounded by the most capable warriors, and accompanied always by a holy presence. We are thankful for the families and friends of these new Marines, for their love and support. Fear not, families and friends, for your freedoms and your lives are forever protected by these brave men, first to fight, most ready when the nation is least ready. We are thankful today for the drill instructors, for their leadership, discipline, and sacrifice. We thank them for instilling in these young men honor, courage, and commitment values that forever remain woven into the fabric of every marine. You prepared these men to be guardians of this great nation. Fear not, drill instructors, for you made marines. Fear not, great nation of ours, for your protection lies in good hands. We fear not, for we know, O oh great one, that you go with us always. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is an historic event in the life of a Marine, the graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 99 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits in the Midwest of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all male applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing staff for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander of troops is Captain Thompson S. Engel, Company Commander, Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Captain Dominic W. Chumich, Executive Officer, Company M, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. <laughs> the marching units are now being called to attention at the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call will begin today's parade. Two hundred forty-four. 
years, learning to thought and won whatever, wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. The next portion of the ceremony will be the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony P. Barilletti. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family across the internet, and distinguished guests. On behalf of the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot of San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General Heritage, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Palmer, it's my privilege to welcome you, both physically and virtually, to the graduation ceremony for Company M. It's also my privilege to welcome today's parade viewing officer, Major K. It's impressive by you here shortly. Major, it's an absolute honor to have you here today. Good sir. Now, excuse me a moment while I just have new Marines just one last time. Good morning, Marines. Pure pride. Pride in yourselves and pride in the title that you have earned. And you should be proud, because amongst you are some of the finest that this nation has to offer. You see, when you arrived here, you were young and fit, 20 years of age on average, and already in better shape than most of your peers. We made you better. 99% of you are high school graduates, and eight already have your college degrees. Further, you demonstrated a courage and a commitment that few of your peers can muster, when you raised your right hand and took that solemn oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, and you come from every corner of the globe, in this case, from eight different countries, with some coming from as far as Russia and the Philippines, while others as close as right here in San Diego. But it was the pursuit of one goal that brought the 250 of you together, and that goal was to earn the title Marine. Three months ago, you began our nation's most difficult entry-level training. When you arrived on your buses and stepped onto those historic yellow footprints. And over the course of the next three grueling months, your drill instructors forged you into a cohesive team of smartly disciplined, physically fit Marines, honing your minds and your bodies until you proved yourselves capable of marching long distances over mountainous terrain carrying heavy loads on your backs with little food or sleep. To always be where you were needed, when you needed to be there to accomplish the mission. And beginning the mindset of being the most ready when our nation is least ready. And throughout your time here, you are undoubtedly tested, trained and evaluated in the attributes that make our Marine Corps unique and deadly. We train your minds and your bodies and developed within each of you a physical and mental toughness that would never quit or give up despite the odds. We indoctrinated you in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, developing men of exemplary character, either at peace or at war. And we trained you in battlefield-tested warfighting techniques so that when America calls, our Marine Corps will always win. And thanks to the highly skilled marksmanship instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion in Camp Pendleton, when you arrive at your objective, you are capable of delivering precision rifle fire against pinpoint targets at a staggering distance of 500 yards. And finally, we built in each of you small unit leaders and tested your ability to decide, act, and communicate with a bias for intelligent action. Because that is what the future operating environment demands. So now having completed the longest, the toughest, and certainly the most demanding entry level training in the world, you now stand ready to carry out the legacy of our Corps as our nation's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. Prepare to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Now, when you first got here, and we offered you the challenge of becoming a Marine, I know the last thing on your mind was graduation. Probably thinking, what in the heck have I got myself into? How do I get them to stop yelling? Well, you had a lot to learn. You had many miles to run and many challenges to overcome. But you did. And you stand here today as America's newest Marines. And we're proud of you. But you should be proud of yourselves 
Because you can even attempt what you've accomplished. And when you eventually get home, people will notice the difference. Friends will look up to you. And when they ask you how you did it, because they will, make sure you introduce them to your recruiter. Because your drill instructors cannot wait to meet your friends. But you must always remember the key strength of our Marine Corps is not found in our weapons or equipment, but in the strength, character, and warfighting spirit of the individual Marine. That's what matters most in combat, and that's what sets us apart. So remember that and hold on to it. But the legacy of our Corps, not only first to fight, but to always win our nation's battles, belongs to you now for safekeeping. The world is a dangerous and chaotic place, and that's why we have you. So always remember, that evil globe and anchor we place in your hands on top of the Reaper represents 244 years of Marines that have come before us. You must always endeavor to be worthy of that legacy and to protect what you've earned. So on behalf of the officers, the drill instructors, and support personnel of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, it's my privilege to be the first to wish you fair winds and following seas, Semper Fidelis Marines, and welcome to the Corps. Taking his position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing officer, Major Kaibonoa Kaheaku in Hana. He is accompanied by Lieutenant Colonel Anthony P. Beriletti, Battalion Commander, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. Major Kaipo Noah H. Kahayaku Inhata, Operations Officer, Headquarters Company, Weapons and Field Training Battalion, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego. Major Kayaku Inhata was commissioned in the Marine Corps in December 2009. Following his graduation from the basic school, he completed the Logistics Officer Course in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, and subsequently gained the MOS of 0402, Logistics Officer. Major Kahayaku Inhata has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include serving as Assistant Logistics Officer, Executive Officer, Logistics Planner, and the Command Element Camp Commandant for Brigade Headquarters Group Afghanistan Marine Expeditionary Base Alpha. Exercise Planner for Headquarters Battalion, 3rd Marine Division, Okinawa, Japan. Battalion Logistics Officer, 3rd Reconnaissance Battalion, Camp Shua, Marine Corps Base, Camp Smedley Butler, Okinawa, Japan. In 2019, Major Kahea Benhada assumed command of Range Company Weapons and Field Training Battalion, Edson Range, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego. As of 2020, Major Kayaku Inhada currently serves as the Operations Officer for Weapons and Field Training Battalion, Edson Range, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego. Major Kayaku Inhada's personal decorations include the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Major Kaipo Noah Kayaku Inhada.
San Diego for combat and conflicts around the world, including places whose names are really associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal,
The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. is Private First Class Frederick Bradley from Salt Lake City, Utah. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3270 is Private First Class Kevin Cantano from Chicago, Illinois. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3271 and also the Series Honor Graduate is Private First Class Daniel P. Salazar from Grand Junction, Colorado. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3273 is Private First Class Brainy Quentin from Wadena, Iowa. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3274 is Private First Class Gabriel M. Garza from New Braunfels, Texas. And the Honor Graduate for Platoon 3275 and also the Company Honor Graduate is Lance Corporal Hunter G. Whitehead from Portland, Oregon. Lance Corporal Whitehead is also the recipient of the Chesty Fuller Award for its outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorman of Company M.
Company First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drone instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training.